Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 3 of grade 1. And please write your name first if you're doing the one doing the homework. And students were asked about their favorite ice cream flavor. You use the data below to answer the questions. So here we have lists of different ice cream flavors. We counted them in tally, they're counted in tally marks or given to us in tally marks. And we're going to translate this into the number of votes. So just count the marks. There's one, two, three, there's four here for chocolate. Strawberry shows three. And for cookie dough, these are groups of five. We count the ones, the slashes that go across. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we can count five, ten. Two fives is ten for cookie dough. And it says fill in the blanks in the table by writing the number of students who voted for each flavor. Okay, I, that's what I just did. How many students chose cookie dough as the flavor they like the best? Well, we just counted that, so that's 10, 10 students. And what is the total number of students who like chocolate or strawberry the best? So we have to count chocolate and strawberry together, and you could just count all the marks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or you could add 4 plus 3 equals 7. I'm going to write that equation down. I'm just going to write 4 plus 3 equals 7, and then we'll show my work. 7 students. Which flavor received the least amount of votes? So keep in mind here, it's not asking what is the least amount of votes. It's asking what flavor. So strawberry got the least amount of votes. And if you don't know how to spell strawberry, it's right up here in the table. So you can copy it right off of that. What is the total number of students who like cookie dough or chocolate the best? So cookie dough is 10 and chocolate is 4. So 10 plus 4. And you know that teen trick, 10 4 makes 14. 14 students. Which two flavors were liked by a total of seven students? So which two flavors, a total of seven? Well, we kind of already figured that out, right? It can't include cookie dough because cookie dough already has 10 and it's already too much. It's already more than seven. So it has to be chocolate and strawberry together. And here are the names right up here. You can copy them down from the spelling if you need the spelling up there. And write an addition sentence that shows how many students voted for their favorite ice cream flavor. Well, everybody voted, no matter what they liked. So that means we're going to add up all the votes. That's this 4 plus that 3 plus this 10. So 4 plus 3 plus 10. And so this, here's our addition sentence. 4 plus 3 plus 10 equals... Let me clean up that 10 because it looks a little bit like a 16 there. Well, we already know that 4 plus 3 is 7, because that's one of the ones we already had, and then 7 plus 10 is 10, 7, 17. And there's the addition sentence we had to write. Now, students voted on what they liked to read the most. Organize the data using tally marks and then answer the questions. So, since we're using tally marks, I'm just going to read them and mark them as I go from left to right. So that means I'm going to look at this one first and I'm going to go, okay, comic book. That's one of those. And then here's a magazine. Okay. There's a chapter book. There's a comic book and a magazine. And I'm going to keep marking them like that. Now, it's, a, it, it's helpful to either cross them out or circle them or something so you know which ones you've counted and which ones you haven't. There's a chapter book, comic book, another comic book, a chapter book, chapter book, chapter book, five, a chapter book, a magazine, 
the magazine, and the magazine. There. You be careful with your tally marks. Uh, you saw how I made them when I had a group of four. I made the fifth tally mark going sideways across to show a bundle of five. Be careful that you don't show like one, two, three, four, five, and then make it six. Because that tally mark that goes sideways, it counts as a tally mark. So just be careful how you make your five groups. How many students like, and I'm going to write down the number too. Um, so now we have the tally marks. It's going to be easier to answer the questions if I have just the numbers to look at. Uh, some of the questions might be easier to just count the tallies. But I'm looking at four here, five here, and five and one more, six for the chapter book. How many students like to read chapter books the most? Six students. Which item received the least amount of votes? Least means the smallest. So which one had the smallest number of votes? That would be the comic book. And be careful here that our answer is not four for this because it's asking which item. It's not asking what is the least number of votes. It's asking what item. How many more students like to read chapter books than magazines? Well, six like chapter books, five like magazines. So how many more? The difference between the two, six minus five, and it's only one more. So it's one student. What is the total number of students who like to read magazines or chapter books? So the total, we're going to add magazines or chapter books so that magazines is five and chapter books is six so five plus six and you might remember six is a five and a one so here's if you're making ten thinking about it in your head ten plus one is that's eleven students which two items did a total of nine students like to read so how can we get nine out of these numbers here? Well, six and four, the six and the four make 10, so that's too much. Uh, and then the six and the five is gonna make 11, so we can't use the six, so it's gonna have to be four and five. So uh, we need to know which items. So which had four and five? That's the comic book and the magazine. And write an addition sentence that shows how many students voted. So that's just adding all the numbers, right? Four for the comic book, five for the magazine, and six for the chapter book will include everybody. So four plus five plus six. Four plus five plus six. And we see a way to make ten here. The six and the four, that makes ten plus five more. Ten, five is fifteen. 15 and there's our there's our addition sentence